All right, what's up you all? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to day, I think we're on day 10 of my 25 days of palette resurrections and honestly, I can't believe we're already on day 10. Like that's crazy to me. I know that these are fairly short videos compared to like my normal content throughout the year, but at the same time, it just feels like, I don't know, it's crazy. It's already day 10. It's like time is just flying by and I can't believe I've gotten that many videos up one every single day for the first 10 days of December to be perfectly honest but yeah I think that's like my first major milestone here until the halfway point and then onward we'll, we'll go today I'm going to be resurrecting a uh, we'll say relevant palette because wet and wild just released a lot of other palettes that are similar to this one and its sisters this is the not a basic peach palette which to be perfectly honest why did I not include this in my palettes that I would rename video because I hate the freaking name of this palette I've hated it ever since I got it I hated it the day I saw that it was coming out not a basic peach. Oh. Cringe. God, that's like one of the most cringy titles. Right up there with like some of the other cringy titles of palettes. Anyway, um, it's really late, but we're gonna do this look. I'm calling it Cyber Grunge or something to that effect because as some of you may know, I'm like really, really into futuristic, dystopian kind of fiction and makeup looks and ideals and characterizations and just, I don't know, it's just one of my like million interests in life, particularly when it comes to my own writing. I absolutely love cyberpunk things and just, I don't know, futuristic, just ready player one type stuff, you know what I mean? And I feel like this look kind of reminds me or gives me that like feel. I'm always like trying to like get that feel into my makeup looks to an extent. And this, I think, like I said, I'm gonna call this one cyber grunge because it just, feel cyber grungy. I don't know. Yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. The whole point of this series, as we all know, is to use the palettes I already have instead of buying more throughout the holiday season. So technically I'm on like an eyeshadow palette, no buy. Palettes are my weakness. So this month, this month I will resist the holiday releases. Wait for that feeling to wear off, you know, the feeling you get when you want every freaking eyeshadow release that comes out and it's limited edition and you're like, oh my god, it's limited edition, it's gonna be gone forever, but then again, you remember that everybody else is gonna not give any shits about it next month. I'm just waiting that out. But anyway, um, yeah, I hope you all like this tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. So first I prime my eye and then I'm just gonna go into the lightest shade in the palette and set my concealer. Then I'm gonna go into the darker of the two transition shades and I'm gonna put that on a Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush and I'm gonna put that right in my eye socket. Just trying to keep it as low as possible until most of the shadow has come off and then of course I'm gonna diffuse the edges. You've seen makeup tutorials before, you know the drill. Then I'm gonna shape the outer corner of my eye just a little bit when there's not a whole lot of product left because I don't want it to look like a huge wing. I just wanna diffuse the edges in the shape of a wing, if that makes sense. Then I'm gonna wet a Real Technique shading brush and I'm gonna go into that blue shade and I'm gonna put that all over my entire lid. I originally started in the center, but then I decided to put it all over my lid because I don't want this to be a true halo eye. I just want to add some dimension on the inner and outer corners. So I feel like when I layer the shimmer underneath of the dark shade, it gives a really cool like satin, like shimmery effect without being too shimmery, but it also gives a lot of dimension. I don't know, it's pretty cool. It's not a true halo eye again. It's definitely just, well, you'll see. I'm just gonna paint that all over my lid, bringing it right up to my crease, not any further. Then I'm gonna take an e.l.f. detail crease brush. It's a tiny little stiff, sort of blending brush and I'm gonna take the darkest shade in the palette, that brown shade, and put it on the outer corner and the inner corner and I'm gonna follow the same shape that I already have going. So just slightly winged, not really winged out, but just definitely have a more defined outer V or angle bracket as I like to call it. And then I'm gonna take that just barely up to my brow bone, keeping it like almost facing my brush vertically so that it doesn't get too crazy. I don't want to go straight into my crease because then it'll get all over my brow bone. I'm just kind of facing it at an angle so that it doesn't go onto my brow bone, if you can see that. And this brush is really good for like definition, 
because it blends it, but just not too much. It doesn't blend the edges too much. It just barely diffuses them, which is exactly what I want here. So if you can see, I didn't really, I don't really care too much about getting it all over the blue because I am going to go back and re-intensify the blue that I managed to wipe away. But I think it gives a really cool effect here once I've layered it over top of the blue. And then once again, I'm going to take that wet shading brush right back over the blue, but just on the very center. So now it's becoming more of a halo eye, but again, not quite. Just going to diffuse the edges a little bit and blend them into the brown. And then I'm going to go back into that transition shade to do my lower lash line and I'm taking this little Morphe brush. Everybody asks what this is. It's an M506 brush, I believe. It's like a tiny blending brush. It was pretty cheap and it does the job. It's a pretty good brush. So I'm gonna drag that down pretty far. I'm using my entire lower lid, not just my lash line. I'm taking it on my entire lower eyelid, meaning anywhere my eyeball is or any part of my lid that touches my eyeball on the lower part of my eye, it's getting that shadow there. Then I'm gonna take this little pencil brush, I'm gonna go into the brown shade in the palette, and of course I'm gonna mimic what I have going on up top. I'm just gonna put that on the inner and outer corner mainly, and just not over blend it. I don't want to over blend this, but I do want it to get in the inner corner. I'm not highlighting the inner corner of my eye with this look, I definitely want a dark inner corner in this situation. I'm gonna blend that out. Before I go in with the blue, I'm gonna wet this same pencil brush after I wipe it off, go in with the blue, and then paint that on my lower lid in the same area I have it on my upper lid. And just keep on going over that. It's a little harder to build up on my lower lash line just because I have to contend with my lashes being there and all. But then I'm gonna use that same brush while it still has the blue on it and just go around the edges, make sure it's all blended out really well on the top lid as well. Going back over it with some more product on the lower lash line. And just keep building it up and building it up until I'm happy with it. And I'm gonna blend it out, of course. I'm gonna take that little e.l.f. brush again, the more dense blending brush, and do some final blending, especially on the inner corner, because I wanna darken up that inner corner there. I know it seems contrary to what we usually do here, but I am darkening the inner corner of my eye. I repeat, no inner corner highlight. And that's the finished look before I put mascara on. I think it helps to see the look without mascara. Thanks for watching. Thanks for making it this far with me. If you've seen all of these videos to this point, if you haven't, I'll link the playlist down below if you feel like giving them a look. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I will link my Instagram handle down below as well as my Patreon account if you'd like to support me on Patreon. And yeah, other than that, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Later. <laughs>